What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Philly Picker YouTube channel. My name is Joe. In today's video, I'm going to go over about 15 items that recently sold for me on eBay. If you are new to the channel and this is your first time here, I'm a part-time reseller in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where I basically resell items that I pick up at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, flea markets, and I resell those items on eBay. I occasionally list on other platforms such as Facebook Marketplace, Macari, and I even start at Poshmark. Like I said earlier, I'm only part-time, so I try to pick up items that are uh, easy to list, easy to store, and easy to ship. Um, I don't have a whole lot of time to focus on uh, reselling, um, but I do my best to do it. The motivating factor is for me to pay down my kids' school tuition and uh, make a little bit of extra money. So if this sounds like content you might be interested in, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me. I really appreciate it, and it will help the channel out a lot. So let's jump into the items that I sold on eBay. These first two items I'm going to go over, I actually packed up and shipped out. So I'll throw a screenshot up here of the item so you can see what I'm talking about. The first item here is a Bob Newhart uh, DVD collection. This was actually in a video not too long ago. Um, I'll actually post a link to it up here if you want to go check that out. I picked this up at the Goodwill. I paid $10 for it. It was a whole DVD collection. I think there was 19 total DVDs included in this uh, DVD box. And this ended up selling for $39.99 plus shipping. This next item was an item that I constantly look out for. Um, I've only been lucky to find them when I was on vacation in North Carolina. Um, I can't find too many of these up here in the city. Um, the store that I bought these for them in North Carolina is a small convenience store on the side of the road. So, uh, But anyway, keep, a, keep an eye out for these. These are vintage Gillette um, Sensor XL Women's Refill Razors. This was a pack of 10 of them. I picked these up for $5, like I said, at this uh, convenience store in North Carolina. And this ended up selling for $49.98 plus shipping. The next 13 items that I'm going to go over are items that I actually have to pack up and ship out. So I'll be able to show them to you. First up is a PlayStation 2 game. This is Rayman 2. Um, I picked this up for $4 at the Goodwill. It's complete. It's got the manual and the CD there. And this ended up selling for $24.98 plus shipping. This next item I actually picked up while away on vacation. I ended up picking this up in a Goodwill in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Um, this is a pack of jockey underwear. They're size 40. They're not vintage, but they uh, the date on the back says 2004. So um, I ended up picking these up for $3, and they ended up selling for $24.98 plus shipping. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you're away on vacation. Do you try to source or when you're on vacation, it's just strictly a vacation? I tend to uh, try to venture out when I do have some time to check out some uh, thrift stores. Um, if there is a flea market nearby, I'll try to go to that. But uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you do. Next item I have up is an item that was in my last video. It was an item that I picked up while at uh, a Goodwill in South Philly. This is a pair of Adidas Ultra Boost running shoes. I picked these up for $10, and these ended up selling for $50 plus shipping. I had them listed for uh, $59.98. Somebody sent me an offer over the weekend for $50 plus shipping. And I took it. I only had $10 into these. I was going to spend some time on cleaning them and things like that. But I ended up listing them the way they are. Within a few days, I got an offer on it. So I was happy to see these just go. Next item up is this Lesney Matchbox Mercedes-Benz truck. It actually comes with the scaffolding in the back. I picked this up in a large bag of toys that I purchased at the Goodwill. I think I paid $12 for the entire bag. I ended up getting maybe about... 25 listings out of uh, different Lesney toys. Um, so overall, that was a great purchase. Um, this ended up selling for $24 plus shipping. I actually took an offer on this one. I had this listed for $29.98 plus shipping. Somebody sent me an offer over the weekend for $24, and I took it. I don't usually have a best offer turned on on my listings, but these two offers that came in, um, the buyers actually sent me uh, messages through eBay asking me if I would take a lower price. So that's what I ended up doing. Next item up is a yard sale find. This is a Louisville Slugger Warrior baseball bat. It's um, size 31 inches, 28 ounces. So it was a drop three. Um, I picked this up for $2 at a yard sale and this ended up selling for $53.98 plus shipping. 
even with baseball season coming to an end, um, baseball equipment does sell all year long. So if you ever have an opportunity to pick up some baseball equipment, I would do it. Next up is another item that I picked up at a yard sale. This is Mario Kart for Wii. I picked this up for $3 and this ended up selling for $28.98 plus shipping. I'm pretty sure anything Wii Mario does pretty well, but make sure you look up the comps. Uh, this was complete with the manual and everything and the case is in really good shape. So keep an eye out for some Wii games. Um, I always do well with them. This next item was an item that I thought was pretty cool. I was even tempted to keep it. But this is a vintage Tiger Electronics Batman game. I think this was from 1988. It does work. Uh, the battery compartment was really clean. I picked this up for a dollar at a yard sale. And this ended up selling for $24.98 plus shipping. Keep an eye out for these old handheld games. Um, some of them do really well. Next up is a Momentous. I don't know if you can see it here. It's a trainer uh, golf club. It's pretty heavy. This weighs about 40 ounces. Um, I picked this up at a yard sale for $5, and this ended up selling for $29.98 plus shipping. This is actually just going to go in one of those uh, USPS uh, triangle tubes uh, along with the baseball bat. That's how I ship those uh, longer items out. Um, they're free on USPS. So make sure you go order them if you do plan to sell like golf clubs and baseball bats, especially with fourth quarter coming. You want to make sure you have the right supplies. Here's a PSP game that I picked up for a dollar at a yard sale. This is Medal of Honor Heroes. Um, this is also complete with the manual. This ended up selling for $9.99 with free shipping. Next up is another video game. This is a video game for PlayStation 2. This is NARC. It was also complete. With the manual, I picked this up at a church thrift store for $2, and this ended up selling for $19.98 plus shipping. This item was also another item that I was tempted to keep, but I knew I had to sell it. Uh, I only paid a dollar for this at a yard sale. This is a Nintendo handheld Mario Brothers game. Like I said, I only paid a dollar for it. These were in the bottom of a box at a yard sale. Um, and this ended up selling for $149.98 plus shipping. This was an awesome sale. Um, it's in really good condition. Um, if it had the box with it and the manual, I could have probably got somewhere around $250 for it. So keep an eye out for these games. You probably won't come across them that often. This is the first time I ever found them. This is also from 1988 and it's super clean. The battery compartment's really clean. Um, so I was happy to find this item. This next item is an item I picked up at the Goodwill. I paid $3 for it. This probably wasn't one of my best items that I picked up. Um, the packaging is really in bad shape. If you can see there, there's holes in the back. And it's all crumbled up the top here. I paid $3 for this. I had this in my store for a very long time. Um, and this ended up selling for $14.98 with free shipping. Usually Thomas to train items do very well, but I think they do well uh, when you're selling a huge lot of them. I've sold a huge lot of them uh, quite a few times, and they did much better than just sink selling a solo um, train. So keep that in mind when you're picking up Thomas to train items. And the last item I'll go over is a vintage Sony Walkman. Um, the radio works in this, but I couldn't get a cassette tape to play in it. I did disclose that in the listing, so I basically sold it for parts or repair. Um, it's even missing a button up the top here. I paid $3 for this at the Salvation Army without testing it. Turns out it didn't work, but I was still able to get $19.98 plus shipping on it. Keep an eye out for these vintage Walkman radios. They also do very well. So there's the 15 items that I'm going to go over here for you today. Most of these items here that I sold today are pretty easy to ship out. Like I said, they were easy to list and they're easy to store. So if you are thinking about reselling and maybe testing out some of these platforms like eBay, Macari, Facebook Marketplace or anything, I encourage you to do it. Thank you again. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me. I really appreciate it. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.